Hello, this is Annette Stanton. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Today I want to talk about being in your zone, swimming in your own lane, yeah, and noticing whether you get distracted with outside stimulus, circumstances, situations, or comparing yourself to others, you know, and where they're at in their life and their career path. So a quick story, um, on Sunday, just recently, I did a fun run and I haven't done one in a, a long time. And for those people that don't know me, I um, used to be an avid runner, um, World Masters champion sportswoman and an ex-personal trainer. That was my very first business. I still exercise each day. It was just, um, I have a different way of staying in my zone. But one of the things that I noticed during this run was the, you know, it's like I noticed that because I had a pacer and I was running with, um, you know, a close family member. And I and what I noticed was, you know, trying to keep up with my pacer. And there were moments where my breath was just whoo, all over the place. So you notice where you start to feel like you're stretching yourself and you, you feel a little bit of uncomfort. Now, that, that's normal when you stretch yourself. You're going to feel a little bit of discomfort at that time. The key is, are you in your zone? Are you actually able to sustain that? in a regulated breathing and your body continuing to move forward in a state of being comfortable. Because as you, st if you, as you start to get in, inside a, a discomfortable position, you know, an uncomfortable position, that's when you start to stretch yourself and then it starts to be comfortable, right, over time. But if you continue to keep the uncomfortableness going, uncomfortable, out of breath, out of breath, out of breath, you will not step into your zone. So if you find yourself living and leading, comparing to others, noticing and getting caught up with, you know, other people's speed, yeah, of their way of life and business, what they've achieved along the way, then you you will never ever live and lead in your zone. So the point is to go within, listen to your inner voice, know that, stay connected with the breath every moment throughout the day. Take action on what your inspired next step is by listening to that inner voice and act on that in your zone. Yeah, Even if it starts to feel uncomfortable or if it's something that you know you really want to move towards and, it's some, and you've not been in that environment, just know that that little bit of discomfort at the start, tune in, yeah, Step into the zone, keep breathing, and you will be in your zone and a space of comfortableness over time. And then what you'll do is you'll accelerate. Yeah? And that is where momentum comes in. So enjoy living and leading in your zone and noticing the discomfort. If you're in a state of too long discomfort, it can create disease. As your body will stay in a state of unease, in other words, right, which then stops and blocks you. Chronic fatigue can occur. Been there, done that, okay? So this is something that you would like, you know, a, a more in, you know, information about, you would like to explore and uncover so that you can live and lead in your zone. Please feel free to reach out. I offer a 30-minute self-discovery session on that, and we can uh, explore that further. But have a, have a wonderful day, won't you? Living and leading in your free flow zone. Thank you. My name's Annette Stanton. Thanks for tuning in. Bye for now. Bye.